Hey you going there guys, Saltwater Fishing Queensland here to uh, do another Freshwater Fish Keeping Friday with you. Um, so yeah, and on this on the agenda today we're doing uh, how to treat your fish for fungal infections. Uh, and it's the most easiest and most proven way that I can 100% back up. Because I've used it once before and this is the second time I've had to use the same treatment. So yeah, so let's get into it. Um, so on the screen now you can see all my fish, uh, you know, my rosy barbs, my sword tails, my mollies, uh, haven't got any platies anymore, they all sent, they all died, so I've got no more platies, um, just, yeah, I've got all that. Um, I've recently noticed just, re oh, I, not recently noticed, I just noticed, uh, probably three or four days ago that, um, they started having a white, white fungal disease uh, protruding from out underneath their scales on a couple of fish some people could call it white spot it wasn't in my opinion it's not white spot and it seems to have cleared up pretty well but some fish you can still see have it so it's best that i stick with it um so the most easiest way to get rid of this is to use this stuff that's on my screen at the moment uh, the api pimaflix pimafix sorry uh yeah best best stuff i've used it once in the past before uh, however, I bought it from a, like a, a mainstream pet shop and it was really expensive. It was about $18 for a small bottle, where as opposed to if you go to uh, Age of Aquariums, uh, it's $22, oh sorry, no, $25 and then plus $7.50 50 postage. And I think for that bottle, which is, I think off memory, almost 500 mils, uh, that's, that's an absolute bargain. So if you guys want to, just head over there and... Um, I'll, I'll put a link to their website in the description below, but yeah, so that's that's my number one suggestion. So yeah, so you get that you get that treatment. You find out the exact uh, liters of your tank, um, but I think it's length times width times height, um, and that gives you I think that gives you the amount of liters or milliliters, and then you divide that by a thousand. I think off memory, don't quote me on this. I could be wrong, but. It's best just to search up how to how to um how to how to figure out the volume of something. So, yeah. But anyway, so we've got that. Uh, so then you have to figure out the liters. After you figure out the liters on the back of the bottle, it says uh, for every forty liters, you add five mils of this stuff. So my tank's two hundred and two hundred liters. So I add five and that five yeah five five capfuls. No. <laughs> Sorry, two full capfuls and one half capful. That's that's what I need for my tank. It varies from tank to tank. Some people have small tanks. Some people have larger tanks. It just yeah, it matters. It, it it's it's really um, the severity of the tank itself and and all that. As you can see there, I was in that video. <laughs> I was taking photos of the fish. So yeah, um, so you can see now on the screen is a uh, fish with this disease. It's like a fungal infection. Um, so yeah, it's 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 not a very nice disease, and um, it can actually spread real quickly from fish to fish. I noticed I had one fish in there which, which was infected, and now I had about eight or nine. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so after you treat it, uh, seven days, you take um, the the carbon out of your filter if you've got a, a filter with activated carbon in it. It says it suggests that you do that from the start, but you can take it out any time. It doesn't really matter. I left mine in sometimes. Or my last treatment, I didn't. It didn't affect it, but yeah, um, the water will smell real tea tree like, um, and like when you put your hand in the tank, you'll actually smell it on your hands. So that's it's not really the the most pleasant smell to have on your hands all day, but you know, gets your fish alive. So uh, yeah, but yeah, anyway. So Age of Aquariums, uh, just use this this stuff, uh, the Pimaflix, Pimfix. I keep saying flicks. Um, you can use it with uh, Melifix as well, um, as it, like in conjunction with that, but it's not too important. Um, but yeah, so uh, that that treats all the fish, and I've noticed that after I put it in for one day, I've had it in for one day, no joke, um, and pretty much all my fish, apart from one or bar one or two, have uh, lost that that white fungal infection overnight. So. It says it recommends you, you you treat them for seven days and then do a, a 25% water change and all that. But you know, it's it. I think it doesn't even need that long, depending on you know the severity of it. So yeah. 
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this freshwater fish keeping tip. Um, I I noticed that when I first started, I didn't know the difference between ick and um, and this disease. So I'd suggest you just do a bit of research if your fish is sick and just yeah go from there. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you leave a comment with um, you know anything you need to tell me. Or, um, Anything you want to know, anything, just let me know and I'll um, be happy to answer any questions or make a video on it. So yeah, thanks guys. Saltwater Fishing Queensland.